I'm un sorry. Let me start again. So sorry, I was muted. Good evening and welcome to the 2021 Club Awards Ceremony brought to you by the Skating Club of Boston. We have an exciting program in store for you tonight as we award our club members for athleticism, outstanding accomplishments, academic achievements, and more. As chair of the awards committee, it is always exciting to see the nominations come in for skaters and members throughout the year and review their accomplishments. We are thrilled to have two very special guests with us this evening to help celebrate our awards ceremony. Olympians Tenley Albright, and Tina Noyes coming to you from the newly named Richard T. Button Trophy Room right here at the club. Welcome Tina and Tenley. Good evening. During tonight's program, there will be a series of speakers and presenters. We are using the webinar format this year. Our control team will be spotlighting our presenters and award recipients for the individual awards. When it is time to welcome them to the virtual stage, we will also be showing a variety of photos and videos. Please be patient as we bring everyone to the screen and the program to you at home. Thank you to those who took the time to share their support and thoughts in the nominations. The committee carefully reviewed the submissions and evaluated the criteria to select the winners we will recognize tonight. In addition, some of our club awards are selected at the club competition, which was held this past weekend, one of the largest participations in quite some time. We know how difficult this past year has been for so many people, and due to the continued impact of the pandemic, the club felt it best to continue with the virtual awards ceremony. But hopefully next year, we'll be back in person and celebrating our members together. And now, without further ado, let's get tonight's program started. Please join me in welcoming the president of the Skating Club of Boston, Joe Blount. Good evening, everyone. We are proud to be able to bring to you this year's Club Awards show to once again through the live Zoom. Thank you for tuning in and supporting our fellow club members, coaches, and management team. Each and every day, I am truly honored to preside over such a world-class organization. Supporting athletes, young and old, members who love the sport and figure skating in a community rich in history, such as ours. And now we have a world-class facility for our athletes to train at the club's new home in Norwood. While our pandemic drew many challenges into our paths, I'm beyond thrilled that we could still realize our 20 year dream in making the move to the club to its new home. It was a team effort over many, many years, many days, weeks, months, and years. There is no greater satisfaction for me than to walk from rink to rink and see all the activity and training that is happening there. We have truly set the stage well for the next 100 years. Thank you to everyone who has sent, lent a hand, dedicated volunteer hours, or has been there with us for this entire journey. I would like to take a moment to acknowledge the club board of directors, Vice President Ann Buckley, Treasurer Georgia Kovalov, Secretary, Deb Gaff. There she is. Uh, members of the board, Laura Days. Angela Fosong. Pardon me, Angelita. Ron Ellen Gagnon. Erica McInnes, Gloria Minor, Suna Murray, John Peterson, Kelly Rayqua, Matt Savoy, Richard Shaughnessy, and Deed Seeger. Thank you all. You look great there. First time I've seen everybody's faces in one picture here. Please welcome one of the folks who is so instrumental in helping us realize the dream of building our new world-class facility. The Executive Director of the Skating Club of Boston, Doug Zeigelheim. Thank you, Joe. Hi, everybody, and thank you for joining us tonight to celebrate the annual awards. 
While the circumstances of this past year continue to present their challenges, I'm extremely grateful for everything we have accomplished this year in spite of, and actually because of the pandemic. Our greatest accomplishments besides building the facility and moving into the facility and skating on the ice is that we've continued to be a strong, dedicated community, even though we've been socially distanced. And I think that's something for which we should all be really proud. Because as I've often said, the club is a hundred year old institution, hundred plus, and it's a hundred plus year old community. And I think community is definitely what makes the club so special. Um, I continue to be excited to see skaters on the ice. Uh, thanks to their parents for getting them on the ice and their coaches. Um, our membership is at the largest it's been for a while, well over 800 members. And that includes our individual skaters, our thriving adult community, over 25 teams from synchronized skating and theater on ice. And then of course, there's our management team that readies the facility every day so that everyone can skate and we can do what we need to do. And I want to acknowledge in particular, the management team who you see on the screen now some of you see on a daily basis and others like finance you don't see, but they're an amazing group of professionals, young and young at heart. I'll take the young at heart for myself, uh, who went above and beyond this past year to meet the challenges of the pandemic and to keep the club open and safe for all of us. It wasn't always easy, but like any good skater, I think they've made it look easy. And that's, and that's the second part of the trick. Uh, so thanks to you all. And now our club director, who I think everybody knows and recognizes, uh, John Jepson. Thank you, Doug. When we met on Zoom a year ago for the club awards, we all hope that that would be the only time we would need to hold this annual tradition virtually. However, fast forward a year and here we are again. Yet, despite this global pandemic, we have witnessed the club's athletes constantly adapt to the circumstances and persevere. Our coaches have utilized their creativity and have evolved in how they teach their skaters. And I watched my own team deal with countless difficulty, difficulties, yet they have remained focused and committed. And as a team, they've overcome each trial. And I'm very thankful for that. To that end, I'd like to thank our outstanding team of individuals in the club office and the facilities team for their hard work, um, keeping the doors open, keeping the members on the ice, and most importantly, keeping everyone safe. I would also like to thank Sherry Rigby, the club's COVID-19 safety officer. Since joining the management team in late October, Sherry has been a crucial influence in helping us navigate the constant changes that were presented in the pandemic. Simply put, we would not be in the good position that we are today without Sherry's expertise and guidance. On top of her work for the club, Sherry is also one of the many medical professionals in our community that are continuing to serve on the front lines and fight against the pandemic. Sherry, your commitment to the club and to the safety of every person entering the doors at 750 University Ave is tremendously appreciated. And we are also very thankful. Thank you, Sherry. Now, please welcome club test chair and board member, Laura Days. It is with great pleasure that I acknowledge our wonderful officials who volunteer their time and effort to support our skaters. As, as others have noted, this past year has presented challenges for the entire figure skating community that we never imagined. Our officials have supported our athletes by continuing to participate in test sessions and be available whenever possible for feedback and critiques to coaches and teams. Our officials have been at the Boston Open and US Championships judged numerous virtual competitions, and adapted to judging in this new format, and most recently for the club competition this past weekend. They have kept our athletes engaged and encouraged in their, them in their sport under less than favorable circumstances. This year, we have expanded our officials' membership and welcomed many of the officials from the Yarmouth Ice, Ice Club to our dedicated group of officials. 
I'm honored to share the officials platform with so many of them. Now, please welcome the club's coaching director, Becky Stump. It has been quite an interesting year for our entire club community. I would like to acknowledge the commitment and dedication that our club coaches have put forward this past year. It has required creativity, tenacity, and perseverance. It has been so important for the coaches to keep their skaters motivated despite all the roadblocks presented by the pandemic. Even when we're challenged by the circumstances, we as a coaching team dug deep and kept our skaters moving. Also, in the past year, we expanded the club coaching professionals by almost threefold and have a total of 51 coaches on staff. Between create, creating Zoom classes, classes for off-ice training or mental skills training, adjusting training schedules to work around a new hybrid school schedule, or trying to teach through a mask and have the skaters understand corrections or input, coaches strived to stay positive in the face of such enormous obstacles. More could not have been asked of them, and they rose to the occasion. It has been my immense honor and pleasure to work beside all of them, particularly during this year of such trying circumstances for all of us. We've also welcomed our new high performance coaching directors, Olga Ganicheva and Alexei Letov in October. Olga and Alexei have brought their unique style and expertise to the club, as well as an influx of skaters leading to one of the largest representations of skaters at the most recent US championships in Las Vegas this past January. Most exciting was seeing Audrey Liu and Misha Mitrovanov win the pewter medal and make the world team as alternates, as well as having several of our men's competitors achieve top 10 placements. The club has had many skaters particip participate in the 2021 US Figure Skating Championship Series as it moved to a virtual competition due to the impact of COVID-19. The junior and senior skaters were vying for a spot at the US championships. In addition, the club had 20 novice, intermediate and juvenile skaters selected for the national development camp based on their placements. Congratulations to all the skaters who competed. Please join me in congratulating all of our coaches for this unprecedented year in coaching and for keeping their skaters motivated and doing what they love to do most. Thank you, coaches. And now we are honored to have one of the greatest icons in our sport, sport join us this evening as the first ever American woman to win an Olympic gold medal in figure skating. She has inspired countless generations with her commitment and ability to persevere. It is fitting, therefore, that the club recently announced the naming of its performance center as the Tenley E. Albright Performance Center to honor Tenley for her lifetime achievements both on and off the ice. Here to introduce a new coaching award that will be presented starting next year, please welcome none other than two-time world champion, five-time US champion, and the 1956 Olympic champion, Dr. Tenley Albright. Thank you. This wonderful award is named after my legendary coach, Willie Frick. I never even knew his middle name was Paul until just this week. And it's the Frick Award for Coaching Excellence and has been instituted by the Skating Club to honor his timeless qualities of skating excellence that he brought to the club and to his students as one of the club's earliest coaches. And some of his students included Maribel Vincent, you see her right there. And that was at the um, 
at the 1955 World Championship with Mr. Frick. And of course she won the nationals nine times. And also Joan Tauser was a student of his. She was multiple times national champion and Gretchen Merrill. Now he was known as the Berlin Wonder Boy and that was for his candle dances. He did very intricate moves in and out of candles that were placed on the ice. And I have such fond memories of, he was my first coach and he was my coach all the way through my competitive years. He's really a classic and I loved my lessons with him. He was very perceptive, quietly urging. He gave us lots of encouragement and sometimes he was amusing too. He would say, well, that was pretty good, but do it again and jump higher or see how far you can go. And then one time when I was falling on a jump, he called me over and said, you forgot to put your landing gear down. A plane has to remember that before it lands. And that did make me think. And he also, I think he was teasing me, but he challenged me. He said, I'd like you to show me how to go forward and backward at the same time. And I puzzled and puzzled. And of course he showed me a spread eagle. And um, I liked it that he let me do my own choreography with of course his reactions and advice. And uh, he seemed to have faith in me and I certainly had faith in him. My favorite saying of his was, when you skate, your blade should caress the ice. Now to tell you quickly a little bit more about the actual award, the Frick Award for Coaching Excellence will be awarded to a club coach who has been a club coach for at least three years. The criteria by which coaches will be evaluated for consideration include leadership within the club community through positive interaction and camaraderie with members, coaches, and officials. Continuous involvement, commitment, and promotion of the Skating Club of Austin's programs and events. A commitment to improve their ability as a coach and the ability of the club's athletes through continuous education through the PSA, US figure skating, or other ex acceptable accreditation. Good sportsmanship, kindness, and loyalty to the Skating Club of Boston. And Mr. Frick was certainly a role model for coaches. And we really look forward to presenting this award for the first time next year. Thank you, Tenley. Club historian Jane Piercy reminded me the other day that the cl first club award was presented in 1914. So these awards are very much a part of the club's history. It is meaningful to recognize members' accomplishments in all areas of club life, whether on the ice, in the classroom, or within our club community. These next awards are determined by performances at the club competition, as I said, which were held this past weekend. Presenting the first club competition award is our other special guest, Olympian Tina Noyes. Tina represented the Skating Club of Boston at both the 1964 and the 1968 Olympic Winter Games. She is also a nine-time U.S. national medalist, competed in six world championships, and starred in numerous ice chip shows. Tina knew Cecilia College well, and it is with us, and is with us tonight mm -hmm. to present the award in Cecilia's honor. Tina? Thank you very much, Catherine. I guess Cecilia was a 1936 Olympic silver medalist, 1937 world champion, and a two-time European champion, as well as a coach of the Skating Club of Boston for over 50 years. She was a true pioneer of figure skating and also is honored in the World Figure Skating Hall of Fame in Colorado Springs. Her memory continues with this very special award to a skater who uses their skating skills of imagination, interpretation, and expression. Cecilia's athletic grace and her ex beautiful extension always made her a standout among her competitors. Some of her signature moves, the cross catch camel spin, the beautiful split jump from a Lutz jump takeoff, and amazing transition steps followed by gracefully running on her toes. That's what really made Cecilia an innovator of the sport. She was truly and will forever be in love with figure skating. 
That's what she taught me. Cecilia taught me also how to always enter the ice with grace and confidence, always beginning my program in the center of the rink. She said, always take the ice like a lady and finish your program with a final bow. Yes, yeah, she was a taskmaster. She was tough on me sometimes, but I realized she was a perfectionist and she taught me to always be in control, especially when I was interpreting the music. She taught me the relationship of skating and music and always insisted that when I did the spiral, it had to be with the music. You know, she constantly tell me, you need to feel the music. And that's why this award is what Cecilia believed in. Imagination, interpretation and expression and deservingly goes to Miss Riley Xavier. I am honored to present this trophy to her. And Riley, when you, yeah. when you lift this trophy, use both hands. It's very, very, very heavy. It's a beautiful trophy. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And now I'm going to bring this back to Doug. Thank you. There we go in the unmute. Sorry about that. Uh, thanks, Tina. So Marion Proctor was my first coach and she was also my mom's longtime best friend. So I got to know Marion really well, both in the club and outside the club. Um, she taught me to skate, of course. She also taught me to swim, to sail, to paint. Marion was an amazing artist and painter. Um, and she even taught me how to make a really good salad dressing. And I think the thing about Marion is she was a natural born teacher. She loved to teach, whatever the subject. She was kind and encouraging, funny. She still had a sharp tongue when necessary. And when necessary too, she was really firm. But what Marion is best remembered for is her pioneering and innovative work in developing the model for teaching group skating in the 60s that is still used today. And it was a key thing that Marion did because she developed it to help rebuild the sport after the tragic crash of 1961. And Marion's model is still used today, is the basis for Learn to Skate USA. And there's still some of her teachers from the Metropolitan Figure Skating School that are still teaching. And she's seen here um, in one of the classic Icelandic sweaters of that period. Um, and I know that a lot of our, our moms and older coaches out there still have those sweaters uh, in their closets. So the Marion Proctor Trophy was established uh, to recognize the winner of the no test event at the club competition. And it really is still a celebration of Marion as a truly gifted uh, teacher of beginner skaters. And this year's Marion Proctor Trophy goes to Grace Zhang. Congratulations, Grace. Thank you. <laughs> Well done. Thank you. And now back to Tina. Thank you, Doug, and congratulations, Grace. I am honored now to be presenting the Maribel Vincent Owen Trophy, Memorial Trophy. Now, Maribel was a coach at the skating club back in the early years. She was a 1932 Olympic bronze medalist, a two-time world medalist, 1937 North American champion, and a nine-time national champion in both singles and pairs. Now, Maribel was the first female sports yeah. at the New York Times. She also grew up in the skating business in Boston. I'm sorry, as well as taking, uh, taking from the same coach, I might add, 
as Tenley Albright. Maribel authored three books. I don't know where she found time to do this because she was on the ice 24 hours a day, but she had time to write and all called the skills and the fun of figure skating because that's what she believed in, fun. Yet she was a disciplinarian and she was also schooled in Winchester. And the school um, at Radcliffe College in Cambridge. And then Maribel, after all that she had done, uh, brought up two of the most wonderful daughters, Laurence and Maribel Jr., who both competed in the 1961 National Championships in Colorado Springs. You know, Maribel always said to me, you always do the right thing and you treat people the way you want to be treated yourself. And that showed the good sportsmanship that she had towards her fellow competitors. And she always taught her students the right thing to do. I am honored to be presenting Maribel's trophy and the recipient of the trophy is Miss Mia C. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Congratulations. I just want to say thank you to my coach, Matthew Lind, and my parents and my family for all the love and support. Well, we look forward to seeing you compete in many, many, many more competitions. Congratulations. Thank you. I'd next like to introduce Alan Heinhold. And Alan is going to be presenting a very special award in honor of his mother, Doris Heinhold. Thank you. Alan. My mother, Doris Heinhold, actually Doris Tufts Heinhold, created this award to honor the accomplishments of the best intermediate lady skater each year at the club competition. This award has been given annually since 1976. It is a privilege to continue this tradition on behalf of my family. It's my pleasure to present this year's award to Allie Peters. Congratulations, Allie. Thank you so much. You're very welcome, Allie. <clears throat> and now please welcome back Dr. Tenley Albright. Thank you. This award is for exceptional artistic expression for the skaters competing at the intermediate level and above. When I saw the veterans event and the awardee skating in it, um, I have to say I'm not surprised that she is the awardee tonight. She really feels her music and her skating is very real and memorable. And she takes us out there with her. When she does her triples with her arms over her head, it looks as if it's an artistic move, not necessarily a difficult jump. And it's not just because of her red flowing dress that she looked art artistic. She skated so well in recent club competitions and she's in her junior year in the midst of taking SATs. She's been a member of the US national team, represented us in Belgium and in the Netherlands. And she has uh, been on podiums and had titles in sectional, regional championships and two gold medals. And she's a national competitor. Now, if you haven't guessed yet, I can tell you the winner of the artistic award is Laura Jacobson. And Hi. We're just so delighted. And um, here we have your lovely trophy. And I'd love to hear how you like training here at this facility and, and how it compares to other places you've trained in. I absolutely love it. I mean, there's, there's nothing like this facility. 
Well, you certainly make the most of it and you look wonderful. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. I thank you so much for the award. I, I just enjoy every minute on the ice, so. Well, I'm thrilled that you were chosen for it. Congratulations. Thank and you so much. Many happy, happy skates. Thank you. No, I know. I'm Yudha. So congratulations to all our club competitors. Very excited. Um, and before we move on to the gold test pins, I want to also make mention of the team competition results. Always a hotly contested um, event, the team competition brings together skaters of all ages and levels. This year's team competition was made up of six teams with 49 club members participating. And here are the results. In fourth place, the purple team, led by JAC co-chair Lily Wallingford. In third place, the red team, led by JAC co-chair Joyce Gong. In second place, the orange team, led by JAC co-chair Clara Gross. And in first place, the blue team, led by JAC co-chair Chloe Mann. Congratulations to all the competitors of the club competition. And I wanna take a moment uh, to give a big shout out and thank you to club member Janet Liu who was the photographer for not only the club competition, but for numerous events over the past year. Janet has given hours of her time, both in photograph photographing and cataloging all these events. Thank you, Janet, for the tireless effort and for bringing so much joy and so many smiles to the skaters and their families in capturing these priceless moments and memories. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and now, please welcome back Laura Days. Hello again. I am proud to present tonight's gold test pins. Passing a gold test represents the pinnacle of a skater's development and one of the greatest achievements a skater can attain outside of competition. On behalf of the Skating Club of Boston, I'd like to read aloud and acknowledge the following gold test achievements. When your name is called, you will be spotlighted to be acknowledged and so that you can wave at the audience. For senior free skating, Anna Breen. Lydia Canavan. Danielle Demore. Thank you. <laughs> Danielle there? Okay. Hi, Danielle. Kate Fleming. Joyce Gong. Thank you. Sophie Ionelli. Jedediah Isbell. Damian Jarvis. Marilena Kitramelis. Thank you. And those are our senior moves in the field tests this year. I'm sorry, senior free skating. On for senior moves in the field. We have Desi Bell Kamen, Sean Chien, there's Sean, hi Sean, Don Dupair. Vanessa Finder. Thank you. Jack Liu. Thank you. Chloe Mann. Thank you. Gemma Parker. Thank you. Hannah Parker, Elise Schneider, Rachel Wu, and Nicholas Ying. 
Those are the athletes that have passed their senior moves in the field. And now we have one senior pair gold medalist, Megan Wessenberg. And now please welcome the secretary of the board of directors for the Skating Club of Boston, Deborah Gaff. Thank you, Laura. In 2003, the President's Council on Service and Civic Participation founded the President's Volunteer Service Award to recognize the important role of volunteers in America's strength and national identity. This award honors individuals whose service positively impacts communities in every corner of the nation and inspires those around them to take action too. The PVSA has continued under each administration, honoring the volunteers who are using their time and talents to solve some of the toughest challenges facing our nation. In recognition of her hours of service to volunteering for the Junior Activities Committee, participating as a line captain in ice chips, and for being a terrific role model, the Skating Club of Boston is pleased to recognize Chloe Mann for earning the Presidential Volunteer Service Young Adult Bronze Award. Congratulations, Thank Chloe. Thank you for your many hours of volunteer service. And now, please welcome Team USA member, Maxim Nomov. Hi, everyone. <clears throat> um, the, uh, the Get Up campaign was launched by U.S. Figure Skating in 2017 to help skaters and non-skaters alike to recognize the grit, passion, and perseverance needed to get up in the rink and in life every day. The campaign is a celebration of the strength, resilience, and determination it takes to be a figure skater. Its goal is to attract new skaters to the sport, grow our fan base, and empower our members to take pride in who they are as figure skaters while making a positive difference in their communities. It was an honor to be presented with this award in 2017, and it is my pleasure to share this year's recipients with you. The Skating Club of Boston would like to recognize the following club members. So, Claire Gross. Thank you. Um, Cynthia Jarrier. Uh, Riley Smith. Thank you, everybody. Um, Ali Zaytahir. Sorry if I butcher anybody's name. <laughs> Zaya Tahir. Um, Lillian Bellaquet, I think. <laughs> and uh, Z Wong. So, shouts out to all you guys. <laughs> um, all right, so uh, please welcome Kelly Flaherty, manager of events and one of the me mentors for the Junior Activities Committee. Hi, everyone. The JAC Excellence in Leadership Award was created to acknowledge members 13 and older who regularly participate in club activities, particularly those hosted by the Junior Activities Committee. The recipients of this year's award have gone above and beyond to inspire their peers, encourage their involvement in club activities, and foster a sense of community. It has been my distinct pleasure to mentor the JAC alongside Catherine this past year, and what has impressed me the most is the committee's relentless creativity and persistence as they navigated these unprecedented times. The committee reimagined Club Connected Friday nights and hosted a virtual movie night and Halloween party. They supported the community by partnering with the town of Norwood for the annual trunk or treat and collected donations for the Norwood Food Pantry. They, uh, they kept the spirit of ho the holiday season alive while prioritizing everyone's safety at the annual holiday pageant. And most recently, the JAC hosted two events to benefit figure skating in Harlem and just last week recognized the club's graduating seniors in a special celebration exhibition. It was truly a team effort. So this year, it is with great pride that we recognize all five Junior Activities Committee co-chairs with this year's JAC Excellence in Leadership Award. Clara Gross. Joyce Gong. 
Thank you. Chloe Mann. Thank you. Gemma Parker. Thank you. Lily Wallingford. Thank you. Congratulations. The 2020-2021 club calendar was full of memories and highlights of personal achievement. Please enjoy some of the best moments brought to you by the Junior Activities Committee in a highlight video created by co-chair co Chloe Mann. You're better than the best I'm lucky just to linger in your life Cooler than the flip side of my pillow That's right Completely unaware Nothing can compare to where you sent me Let's me know that it's okay Yeah, it's okay In the moments when my That you can't take back We live hard but we love to laugh We all thought that we'd get rich fast Hop the plane out for greener grass Found out the green is cash Don't compare to the friends at last See we won't forget where we came from The city won't change us We beat to the same drum
Red Bull and minivans and people who had your back when the world didn't understand. See, we won't forget where we came from. The city won't change us. We beat to the same drum. Find our way back home. And now, please welcome Board of Directors member Kelly Reckwatt. Good evening. Hello, everyone. Graduating high school is a tremendous achievement, but to graduate at this time in the middle of a global pandemic is nothing short of remarkable and speaks to the perseverance of the class of 2021. The club would like to acknowledge and congratulate the following individuals who've completed their secondary school education. This year, we're celebrating our largest group of graduating seniors, 33 in total. Last Friday night, the JAC hosted a Friday night exhibition and invited all the graduating seniors to perform a solo or group number. It was a fabulous celebration. The US figure skating scholastic honors team is designed to recognize high school aged US figure skating members who have distinguished themselves in figure skating, having competed in a qualifying competition at the novice junior or senior level and maintained at least a 3.4 GPA, as well as community involvement. The Skating Club, I think there was supposed to be a graphic, but that's okay. The Skating Club of Boston would like to recognize Nina Sebastian for being one of the 10 skaters selected for the Scholastic Honors Team across the country this year. Congratulations, Nina. U.S. Figure Skating recognizes the student athletes who have worked hard to pursue figure skating while maintaining their academics. While figure skating is not a traditional school sport, it requires the same or more dedication, perseverance, and time management as any varsity sport. There are four categories of recognition based on competition and test achievements in all disciplines of figure skating. Student athletes are rewarded based on their highest level of achievement at either the platinum, gold, silver, or bronze level. We have a total of 20 graduating seniors this year, one of our largest groups to date. Of those 20, we have 11 of them receiving a platinum award and four receiving a gold, rec gold recognition, excuse me. Congratulations to all our award winners. Finally, to celebrate the class of 2021, JEC co-chair Chloe Mann has put together a video highlighting our graduating seniors. told me baby someday these will be the good old days all the love you forget and all these reckless nights you regret gonna change you'll miss the magic 
these good old days. I was thinking about the band. I was thinking about the fans. We were underground, loading merch in that 12 passenger van. In a small club in Minnesota, and the snow outside of first half. I just wanted my name in the star. Now look at where we at, still growing up. Still growing up. Wish I didn't drink all of that glass first Wish I made it to homecoming Got up the courage to ask her Wish I would've gotten out of my show Wish I put the bottle back on that shelf Wish I wouldn't have worried about What other people thought I felt comfortable with myself Rooftop open And the stars above Moment frozen sneaking out And falling in love Me, you and that futon We just begun On the grass dreaming Figuring out who I was I wish somebody would have told me, babe That someday these will be the good old days All the love you won't forget And all these reckless nights you won't regret Cause someday soon your whole life's gonna change You'll miss the magic of the good old days Never thought we'd get old Maybe we're still young Maybe you always look back Think it was better than it was Maybe these are the moments Maybe I've been missing what it's about Been scared of the future Thinking about the past While missing out on now We've come so far I guess I'm proud And I ain't worried about the wrinkles around my smile I got some scars I've been around I felt some pain I've seen some things But I'm here now Those good old things You don't know Hi, good evening, everyone. And oh, I, I, I hope I'm on now. I think I'm. I think I'm on. Uh, good evening, everyone, and welcome. I would like to present now to you the outstanding junior member awards. This was first awarded in 1983 to recognize outstanding young members who've demonstrated those qualities of character, leadership conduct and sportsmanship that truly contribute to the well-being of the club and who through their enthusiastic participation in social activities, competitions, ice shows, and other efforts of the club perpetuate the ideals which are the essence and spirit of the club's life. Tonight we have two wonderful young women to acknowledge. 
our first outstanding junior member scholarship award goes to Joyce Gong. Thank you. Congratulations, Joyce. Everyone, I'd like you to know a little bit about Joyce. She is an outstanding student. She's been a member of the Junior Activities Committee for several years, serving as one of the co-chairs. And in that capacity this year, took the lead to create the Science Behind the Athlete series, run in partnership with the McKaylee Center, that is uh, with, with the McKaylee Center professionals. And Joyce saw this need to bring attention to all that is available at the McKaylee Center and brought the idea to the rest of the JAC who supported the idea and together they brought it to life with a four week virtual series created for members. Joyce is also a member of the Junior Theater on Ice. So please, everyone, join me in congratulating Joyce on her award. Thank you, Joyce, and congratulations again. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, please join me in congratulating our next outstanding junior member scholarship award. It goes to Lily Wallingford. Where is she? There she is. Hello, Lily. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're so welcome and well deserved to both of you. Congratulations. I'd like everyone to know a little bit more about Lily. Lily has been involved with the Junior Activities Committee for the last several years and has been in the role as co chair for the last two years. Lily stepped into her role of JAC co chair with enthusiasm and commitment. She's working very effectively with the other co-chairs to create the fun and interactive activities and events for club members. She's also been a terrific role model for younger members and provides a welcoming environment for younger committee members to get involved. She has choreographed several holiday pageant numbers and this year's my notes here. Uh, this year's senior group number, which was so emotional and so wonderful. She's definitely set the bar high. So please, everyone, join me in congratulating Lily. Best of luck to you both. We're very excited and very proud of you. Thank you for everything that you've done for all of us. So now, please welcome the JAC co chairs, Joyce Gong. Uh, Lily Wallingford, also Clara Gross, Chloe Mann, and Gemma Parker. Um, created by the Junior Activities Committee in memory of, Mar of Mary Louise Wright, herself a champion skater and longtime national and world judge, the MLW award, um, the MLW award um, is presented annually to a competitive skater or skaters who embody the knowledge and spirit needed to grow, not only as an athlete, but as an individual and role model. This award is given to an athlete or athletes who have demonstrated an effective balance of academic and competitive achievement while being active participants in the activities and events of the club. This year, we would like to acknowledge the following recipients of the Mary Louise Wright Award. Lou Kukowski. Thank you. Congrats, Luke. And Audrey Liu. Thank you. Congrats, Audrey. Please welcome back Execu Executive Director of the Skating Club of Boston, Doug Zegheim. Thanks, Gemma. So the Zegheim Family Scholar Athlete Award was established in recognition of my family's 50 plus year relationship with the Skating Club of Boston and my parents' commitment to excellence in sport and education. The award may be given annually to that club member who is currently enrolled in an accredited College Preparatory High School 
and who demonstrates personal best achievement in both their academics and on-ice performance. On-ice performance is not necessarily tied to success in competition or level of test passed, but rather to club observed achievements of personal best performance, dedication to the sport, good sportsmanship, integrity with their peers, significant improvement in skating abilities, and competitive performance regardless of placement. The skater must be a club member and represent the club in competition at any level of a U.S. figure skating sanctioned qualifying event. And the nominee must also demonstrate their academic record for full consideration, either by proof of GPA, school recommendation, or a recent grade report. This award may or may not be given each year based upon the qualified candidate. I'm really pleased to announce that this year's award goes to Clara Gross. Congratulations, Clara. Thank you so much. <laughs> really well deserved. Thank you. <laughs> you bet. Now, please welcome Dean Steger, another board of directors member. Thank you, Doug. In honor of Teresa Well Blanchard, the first US national ladies champion and founder and longtime editor of Skating Magazine, the Blanchard Award is presented to members of the Skating Club of Boston who are our most improved skaters for the current season. On behalf of the Skating Club of Boston, I would recognize the following club members for this award. Jai Kerwan and Luke Witkowski, Juvenile Ice Dance. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, well done. Giselle Graves, Intermediate Ladies. Thank you. Well done, Giselle. Jonathan Hildebrandt, Novice Men. Thank you. Brooke Barrett, Junior Ladies. Thank you. And Maxime Narmoth, Senior Men. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations, one and all. Very well done. Now, uh, please welcome longtime club member, Diana Squibb to present the Robert L. Black Award. There we go. Now, is that good? You got it. Am I unmuted? Gosh, am I unmuted? You're good to go, Diana. Okay, thank you, sorry. Good evening, everyone. I just wanted to say welcome to the Skating Club Awards. Um, this award is uh, in memory of my longtime coach, Bobby Black. As was, I established it uh, in memory of him in 1992. He was not only the US uh, Novice Men's Champion in 1964, but he was also a silver medalist the following year in the Junior Men's Division. He stayed involved in skating and joined the club staff after college and became one of the most beloved coaches, not only for his ability to teach, but also for his very creative choreography and free skating programs and ice chips. He had the ability to make learning fun and enjoyable. And at the same time, he managed to get every ounce of effort out of his students. We all wanted him to be proud of us and gain his respect. His sense of humor and timing telling jokes was a gift and many practice sessions were spent laughing about other things when maybe a session might not have been going so well. He was the kind of man who lit up a room when he walked in and people would gravitate toward him, a real gentleman. He was always perfectly dressed for a test session and competitions wearing a coat and tie and never showed up late. Hence the consummate professional. He gave 100% to his students and we wanted to give him 150% back. He deserved it. Not too many people can say that they, were, that they love getting up at 4.30 in the morning to come in and skate, but I did. I loved my time with Bobby, my coach, and my dear friend. Therefore, if this award recognizes a skater in the novice men's division or higher, who best exemplifies the qualities for which Bobby Black will always be remembered. Pursuance of excellence, both artistically and athletically in the sport of figure skating, good sportsmanship, 
generosity of spirit, uncompromising integrity, and infectious good humor. This year, I am truly delighted to announce that the winner of the Robert L. Black Award is Alex Krasnjong. Congratulations to you, Alex. Well deserved. Thank you so much. It's an honor for this award. You're very welcome. Very, very glad you joined the Skating Club of Boston. Me too. And now it is my honor and pleasure to welcome back once again the lovely Dr. Tenley Albright. Thank you, Diane. You're welcome. And our next award is the Spirit of Tenley Albright Award. I love that idea. We have so much spirit at this club. And it was established in 2009 to honor the perseverance and commitment to the spirit of figure skating and is given to an active member of the club who's overcome significant injury and continues to demonstrate high standards of sportsmanship, club spirit, and I am certainly honored to present this year's award to Jun Hong Hen. To me, this is really, really exciting. Um, I had heard about him. Elon had told me um, when I was going to see a rehearsal for one of her Joy Skate ice shows, she said, you're gonna like his skating. Well, I thought, well, I look forward to that. I was flabbergasted when I saw it. It was just amazing. He jumps so high, so it looks around when he's up there and he manages to do all sorts of creative moves and twists and turns in the air and um, after injuries. So that is wonderful spirit. And he's a real natural and charismatic. And I love the description of his skating as explosive. It really is. And I keep asking him to do it again, do it again. So I was thrilled to hear of his being the, our cho the choice for this award. He also coaches and he keeps up his college work at BC in the School of Management studying finance. And he's been at three national competitions and has won the New England championships twice. So um, I find this very exciting and I'm delighted that you're the one who was chosen. And I'd love to hear how you like skating at this facility, which Dick Button and I wish we had to train in. Hi, Tenley, thank you so much. Yeah, this is a huge honor for me. I'm super excited for this. And, you know, skating, since skating at this facility, um, you know, I joined the club about three years ago and, you know, moving into this facility last year uh, was crazy. It was a really great experience so far. Um, I love that there's, you know, new synchro teams, new club members, uh, just high level competition here. And I've been having a lot of fun meeting a lot of new people, making new friendships and um, also being able to train with the best. So definitely grateful for that opportunity. Well, I would have said that maybe you jump so high because the ice is so good here, but I've seen you skate other places too, and you still do. So congratulations. And with that, please welcome back coaching director, Becky Stump. Hello again. In honor of A. Windsor Weld, founding president of US Figure Skating and the second president of the club, this award is presented to, hold on one second here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, Okay, this award is presented to a member of the Skating Club of Boston, who is the most outstanding skater for the current season. This year's award goes to Audrey Liu and Misha Petronovanov. Audrey and Misha competed in senior pairs and captured the bronze medal at the 2020 Skate America and ISU Grand Prix event. The pair teamed up in May of 2016 and most recently won the pewter medal at the 2021 U.S. Figure Skating Championships and were named World Team Alternates. After winning the junior national title in 2018, the team continues to see success at the senior level. Please join us in congratulating Audrey and Misha as this year's A. Windsor Weld Award recipients. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Misha, I'm sorry I, I messed up your name. I'm, <laughs> I did 
practicing. I wasn't practicing enough, apparently. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so could you please say your last name for us? Uh, it's Mitrofanov. Mitrofanov. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, well the, congratulations, Audrey oh. and Misha. <laughs> Thank you. Now, please welcome back member of the board of directors, Alita Forcioni. Thank you, Becky. The Skating Club of Boston is filled with a rich tradition and its long-standing history of 109 years. It is our devoted club members who make the club what it is today. This year, we are proud to celebrate the anniversaries of some of our club members. On behalf of the Skating Club of Boston, I would like to read aloud and recognize the following club members. We will spotlight those who are in attendance as I call your name. Celebrating 25 years, Scott Duncan and Mark Pepin. Celebrating 30 years, Patricia Berger, Jessica Busgang, Kristen Tedisco, Susan and Robert Tedisco, and Jane Piercy. Celebrating 35 years, Lisa Cutter. Celebrating 45 years, Catherine Kanarek and Joan and Donald Corp. Celebrating 55 years, Dudley Miller III, Carolyn Marr, and Sally Zegheip. And celebrating 70 years, Caroline Larson. I'm talking now. Hi, I'm not sure why we don't have my picture, but can you hear me, I hope? Yep, we can hear you. Great. So people ask me what my earliest member, memory of the club is. I know I first came when I was an infant and Mrs. de Willoughby would hold me up in the lounge overlooking the rink. She was watching her daughter, June, who's one of those elegant women in the group dance photo on the history wall. Later on, on Sunday afternoons at the hot chocolate session, after I'd struggled around the ice, sometimes dragging my brother in this photo, I remember sitting in the bleachers during the dance session with Cecilia College's mom, wrapped up in her fur coat, watching mom and dad dance and Cecilia teach. But my very first memory of the club, I think, is the smell, the smell of the skating club of Boston. And some of you will recognize that. It's something like damp, moldy wood combined with Zamboni exhaust. <laughs> Mom and dad would have a babysitter when they went to late evening dance sessions and they would return and always come and kiss us goodnight. And that in my sleepy haze, that smell of the club was always a clear reminder of where they had been. A few years ago, we were having dinner with the Rigby's and conversation turned to club memories. Rick left the table and returned from the garage with a piece of wood. It was a piece of the original old roof. He passed it around the table and we all sniffed. It brought back a rush of memories for me. Memories of good times with my family, but also the other young skaters and the adults who came into my life. I remember Grammy Vinson hanging over the boards, guiding me through my rib ribbon tests. Marion Proctor, teaching me edges and my first waltz jump. A young woman in the girl's locker room who admired my doll and asked if my doll had skates. It was Laurent's own. A gracious tall woman who stood with me for a photo that my parents treasured. Yes, it's Tanley. John McPhee, that immense tall, elegant gentleman in the raccoon coat who asked me to dance the Canasta Tango more than once. Tommy McGinnis, patiently teaching my hockey playing husband to do the Starlight Waltz with me at Chips. My dad, whispering the steps of the Dutch Waltz to me for over 50 years. 
my daughter skating the Dutch waltz with her granddad, also whispering the steps. My son careening around the rink under a magic carpet with panicked stars of ice chips aboard. And my Bostonian sisters helping me catch that wheel at ice chips one more time. Now a member for 70 years, I continue to cherish my club family and our new spectacular home in Norwood. There's no moldy smell, but still my treasured club family. Thank you. Thank you. And congratulations to all our members celebrating their club anniversaries. Right. The Skating Club of Boston appreciates your support of the club over these past decades, and we look forward to many more. Now, please join me as we pause to pay tribute to those members we have lost this past year.
At this time, the Skating Club of Boston would like to acknowledge our Director of Communications and Production, Timothy LeBlanc, and Associate Manager of Marketing and Communications, Jack Zaykod, as well as Director of Events and Programs, Leslie Graham, and Manager of Events and Seminars, Kelly Flaherty, for putting together this year's virtual awards show. Now, please welcome Treasurer of the Skating Club of Boston, George Darbala. Thank you, Catherine. The Thomas J. McGinnis Award honors the legacy of longtime club member, Tommy McGinnis, who enthusiastically dedicated his life to every aspect of the sport of figure skating. Yeah, let's start the game. Tommy was a competitor, performer, producer, director, choreographer, publisher, judge of professional competitions, rink operator, a coach at the local, national, world, and Olympic levels, and a longtime club coach. He was also the director of Ice Chips for over 40 years. Tommy was especially supportive of adult skaters, a group, a group in, in whom he saw great potential to develop a lifelong passion for skating, no matter one's starting age. This award honors Tommy's lifelong passion for figure skating by commending an adult skater who emulates Tommy's gusto for the sport. The recipient of this award should demonstrate character both on and off the ice, fully participate in club activities such as volunteering, skating in ice chips, and representing the club at competitions throughout the season. Actively encourage others to similarly participate and embody the enthusiasm and spirit that, brought Tom, uh, that Tommy brought to all of his skating endeavors throughout his long and illustrious life. This year's award goes to Sarah Warden. Congratulations. Now please welcome Allison Courtney, Craig Holt, and Caroline Holt uh, Larson. Hello and good evening, everybody. Um, my brother Craig is, there he is, is in Rochester, I'm in Manhattan. Hi, Caroline. Hello to any other family members that are present and congratulations to all the previous awardees tonight. Um, Craig and I are very happy to be with you. We'll be sharing some remembrances, but right now I'm gonna give some background on the origin of the Spirit of Ice Chips Award. It was created in honor of our parents, Shep and Emily, in recognition of their many decades performing in the show, as well as the many, many hours that our mother spent making and overseeing costumes and our father spent building props. The uh, award itself was established in 2008 on the occasion of our parents' 60th year of skating together in the ice chips. Their 60 year wedding anniversary was the following year so this is extremely meaningful to all of us. Craig and I also want to thank our sister Caroline and acknowledge her for coming up with the wonderful idea for this award as a way of saluting our parents as inspiration while looking ahead to others who continue to participate in the same spirit and who contribute wholeheartedly to the ice chips as our parents did. So now I'd like to share my memory of actually witnessing that particular 60th year ice chips in 2008 it was the photo that you saw earlier. I knew that my parents were going to have some sort of moment, but I had no details. So the lights come up. I see the back of a woman with a trim, youthful figure wearing a wedding dress and bridal veil. In the next split second, I notice that the groom has white hair. And I think to myself, this is all in a split second. I think to myself, oh, it's an older couple. Oh. And then in the next split second, I realize this is my parents and I burst into tears. So that was pretty unforgettable. My other memory is from the period when there were three generations of my family skating in the ice chips. The photo, um, I think it's from 1991. 
shows 11 members of my family. I think it'll come up in just a second. My um, parents, there it is, are on the left. Um, then my sister's family, my brother's family. At the time I was in my role as the uh, backstage auntie and Caroline had managed to secure a, an official badge for me to wear that in fact said backstage auntie on it. So it was official. So I was available to help my parents or uh, the grandchildren with costumes or makeup or skate lacing. My fondness for that particular year is partly a nod to Tommy's many talents and his ability to year after year take the current crop of little skaters and put them in cute costumes as you can see there and uh, give them engaging choreography to do and lively music and the result was always very adorable. Ice Chips was the show of champions but often the kitties were the high point of the show. And my favorite that year was watching Craig's older daughter, Holly, who was the one in the other photo on the right with the blue headpiece, as she uh, was weaving in and out with seven other little girls to the Cordettes classic 1950s version of Lollipop. So there she is on the right, Holly Lollipop. Uh, Craig and his wife in the Tyrolean costume made, uh, his wife Elaine made all the headpieces in the different colors for the number. And the effect with Tommy's choreography was a pure delight that I remember to this day. So thank you for allowing me to share those memories. And now Craig is gonna share a memory. Well, you got me thinking, Allison. Mom and dad had us three kids in the midst of those 60 years of chips but they never missed an Ice Chips performance, never even missed the rehearsal. Uh, and mom was always in perfect shape for the show. Uh, and actually we helped uh, make that possible because our birthdays are all grouped together in December and January. Pretty amazing luck for them, wasn't it? Now. But, well, daddy was a mathematician after all. Anyway, Allison and I would like to take a moment here to add our congratulations to Caroline on her 70th year as skating club member. Yay! Go with this. My first memory of Ice Chips is from 1959. The show made a big impression on me because it had an outer space theme that year. And uh, this was before uh, there were any real people in space. So very exciting for a six-year-old like me. The way I remember it, at center ice, there was a spaceship. It looked like a, a rocket ready to, to blast off. At some point, an astronaut got into the rocket and some time later it took off up to the ceiling of the Boston Garden and stayed up there. And I wondered how the astronaut was gonna get down. Of course, he must have gotten out during some uh, blackout earlier uh, when I didn't notice. The astronaut, by the way, was Bradley Lord, who we lost in a real air disaster. Also from 1959, I remember watching my big sister, uh, whose picture was just up there as a star in her first chips. Uh, if you uh, remember the picture there, uh, you can see why I say a star. She, they were all stars in that, uh, in that number. They were uh, little glittery stars from outer space. Um, and then the next year, I got to be in the ice chips as a sailor boy. Um, my dad had been in the Navy uh, during the war. And so I was very proud to be a, a sailor. You can see me there uh, second from the right uh, hoping that my pants don't fall down because the hunk of rope they gave me for a, a belt just didn't seem very secure. Uh, uh, in those days, uh, some things about the show were, were a little different. It was in the old Boston Garden, which is a huge cavernous space with first, second, and third balconies. We had a live bandstand, which supplied music for some of the numbers. And when a champion was building up to a jump, there might be a, a drum roll and then crash the cymbals for the, for the jump. 
sometimes we had a professional comedian act like uh, Frick and Frack, uh, or uh, Frick and Frack were uh, very uh, athletic uh, slapstick uh, skaters, um, or the Banana Man who did a strange magic act where he would walk out on the ice all alone and somehow produce hundreds of bananas that seemingly out of nowhere. <laughs> and we had professional makeup artists, uh, even us little kids, they gave, we got the full treatment. There was the, the eyeliner and the glittery eyelids and everything. Uh, and one year I was a leprechaun and they actually glued little beards on us. Well, for a 10 year old, uh, that was the greatest thing ever. I didn't want to take it off. <laughs> you went to church on Sunday with it still on. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, those were just the beginning of many years of fun shows for me. And seriously, it was, it was good for me as a rather small boy in my class in those days. Um, it uh, was good for my self-image. E even though I wasn't any award-winning skater, here was a very special opportunity where I could play my part and help to make it a success and do it with my whole family. Sometimes just knowing that helped me get through uh, tough school days. And I, I'll bet I'm not the only one. So here's the ice chips. Now we have a quick montage from some much more recent ice chip performances. It seems impossible that we've missed two years of Ice Chips shows. But in these past months, our members have shown their dedication to the club and to skating. And so it's my great pleasure to announce that the 2021 Spirit of Ice Chips Award goes to the entire membership of the Skating Club of Boston, who through an unprecedented pandemic year, endured, survived, and even thrived. Congratulations all. And now here's a message from our mother, Emily Holt. Hello, everyone. I am so sorry there was no ice chips show this year, but the spirit of ice chips remains in all of you. See you at Ice Chips 2022. And now please welcome former cl club vice president and secretary of board of directors, Elisa Plazanja to introduce the next award. Thank you, Caroline. Um, the Wright Award was established in honor of Mary Louise and Ben Wright in recognition of their service over many years and contributions not only to the club, but also to the ISU and US figure skating. The recipient of the, the award, which may be awarded annually, must be an active member of the club who has for at least 10 years been active in and served not only in club affairs, um, including officer, board member, committee chairperson, and or skating official, which could be a referee, judge, accountant, or technical specialist, but also has served in US figure skating and or the International Skating Union or the Olympic movement in similar capacities. This year's Wright Award goes to a member who has demonstrated unending support of the skating community at large, as well as to the club. Um, he tirelessly dedicates his time at competitions as a national judge and ISU data and video operator, and most recently as a chief referee of the club competition. He has been instrumental in uh, helping us uh, make the, the new facility what it is through its programming and resources, 
He gives his time for critiques with skaters and lends a hand whenever asked. Please join me in congratulating this year's Wright Award recipient, Elliot Schwartz. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Elliot. And now please welcome back the president of the Skating Club of Boston, Joseph Blount. Thank you, Lisa. No. <clears throat> Hello, can you hear me? Yep, Joe, you're on. Okay. The, president, uh, the president's award is presented at the discretion of the president to that individual who has consistently and quietly served on behalf of the Skating Club of Boston for a period of not less than 10 years and merits recognition by the membership. The award is intended to celebrate the concept of selfless co contributions which perpetuates the spirit of membership of which the club was founded. This year award goes to Dr. Susan Menmanger. Susan, are you there? Congratulations. Dr. Thank Susan you. Menmanger is a longtime member and volunteer at many club events, including US figure skating championships. Susan has been a contributor on the design of our new club lounge, also designed and donated the beautiful glass art pieces in the display case, and continues to work with us in all aspects of finishing the room's decor. Susan was instrumental in developing the inventory of the club's memorabilia in conjunction with Ben Wright and is an ardent supporter of club history and its rich tradition over the many years. Congratulations, Dr. Manager. Your continued support of the Skating Club of Boston is greatly appreciated. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You. And now we'll turn to the uh, awards committee chair, Catherine Sager. Catherine? Thank you, Joe, and thank you to everyone who's joined us this evening, again, in such unprecedented times that we are have lived through the last year. Um, congratulations to everyone, and on behalf of all of us at the Skating Club of Boston, we are very, very excited to have celebrated all of our recipients tonight. We've enjoyed hosting you this evening. Thank you to Tenley and Tina and all of our presenters. For a complete recording of tonight's program, please keep your eye out for an email from Tim and Jack later this week. And we thank you all for tuning in. Please have a great rest of the evening, a terrific weekend. Happy Mother's Day to all of us mothers and enjoy. Thank you. Thank you, Catherine.